Hello. Um, today I decided I'm going to talk because um, recently, well yesterday, I decided I had to, some big news to share with you guys and I just wanted to do a follow-up YouTube video kind of explaining why, where I'm at with things and why I decided to make the decision I decided on not competing this year. So as you know, and you guys have been following me for a while, you know competing has always been like a huge part of my life, what I do, what I live for, whatnot, and um, last year I loved it. It was like something that like I genuinely pa was so passionate about and really, really enjoyed, and the whole process was just amazing and very rewarding, but challenging at the same time. And um, in the past like six months, I've just changed a lot. A lot of the things that I value, my mindset, my mental health, everything has been different. and. I've taken a lot of steps back to really think about what makes me happy and I feel like I found a lot of happiness in myself that I didn't have before and I just felt like I was in a really great place mentally, I felt like I had so much balance and I just felt genuinely happy and as the prep, pre uh, prep dates started to like approach, I was kind of like almost dreading it which is so not me because normally when I'm about to start a prep I get like really excited I'm like really looking forward to it and it's like almost like I can't wait to start and this year it was like every like week that I was getting closer I was kind of just like oh like I'm starting prep like oh and I kind of like was just thinking you know like it's probably just like that feeling of transitioning from one mindset to the next and like I know it can be really difficult because especially because I felt like I was in such a place of balance and then going from like that to like a more like regimen strict plan I was definitely like I don't know I just it was like I was dreading it but I thought like once I got into it and once I started prepping like that drive that passion that I had for it would like come back um, and I would just find it so I was prepping for almost four weeks and the last like week and a half it got to a point that I was just like miserable. I started getting really depressed, I was like having extremely bad anxiety, I was not sleeping well, I just felt like extremely tight in my chest the whole time and I mean I have, I had all these expectations that I was just gonna like you know push it off and get through it and it would just, I would just feel better and I would be able to prep and it would all just be good and these feelings they were just not going away and I was sitting on this couch um, while Regan was getting a massage actually and it kind of just hit me and I had like almost that aha moment where I was like this isn't what I want to do and I don't know why I'm doing this and for me it was like I, I knew that that was the feeling I was having deep down for the last few weeks or even longer than that but there was another feeling that was like trying to push it away because I mean, it's scary to let go of something that you cared so much about and put so much into before and that people have expectations on you. I mean, people view me as this person who's going to be com a competitor and, you know, I was feeling like I was letting people down and I don't want to let people down. And that's, there was all this pressure to try to find that, like, passion for it and it just wasn't happening and I felt like I was having this constant battle of what I really wanted deep down and what I was trying to force myself to want. and. You can't live life forcing yourself to want things. It just doesn't work that way. You either want something or you don't. And I'm the kind of person that is like, I'm all or nothing. Like, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it with my heart. Or I'm not going to do it at all. And it was just not there. And the moment I sat there and thought that, and like, I can't even express the feeling of like, weight off my shoulders when I finally had decided like, I'm not doing this. Because I knew it was the right decision. Like, I just felt so, like, relieved. That anxiety that I was holding on to was just, like, gone. And at the end of the day, like, I mean, I know a lot of people follow me and associate me as a competitor, but that's not really who I am anymore. I've grown. And I think the hardest part with things for me is that change scares me. Um, I've always been someone that, like, I like things to be the same. And that's not life. Life is about changing, about growing. And I think... At first I was seeing this so negatively and kind of like, oh my god, like, why am I not, like, why don't I care about these things anymore? Like, why am I not, like, as disciplined and dedicated in this and that? And I forgot to realize, and I didn't realize that, like, it's not that that's a bad thing. It just means I've grown. I've grown as a person and my values and the things that mean things, like, mean stuff to me, they've changed. There's nothing bad with that. That's just part of life. And 
I mean, I've gone through this before when I used to swim competitively. Swimming was like my life. Like it was like my passion, the thing I love most. And it also got to a point that I just, I grew. I grew out of it. And it was not that there was anything wrong with that. It's just that's part of life. And you have to be open to change because if you're not, you're not going to be happy. And for me, this is something I needed to do for myself, not because I had these pressures and I'm trying to make people happy around me, but because I need to do what makes me happy. And at the end of the day, like, I mean, I might have upset a few people who are excited to watch that, but who cares? Like, if they're, like, it's not their life, it's mine. And I'd rather inspire people with, like, being myself and following my heart and doing what's important to me and doing stuff that's going to make me happy than forcing myself to do something that's not. And that, to me, is what I realized. And I woke up this morning and... I just felt so good, like, so relieved, like, I woke up and I was just like, like, I made the right decision, like, it feels good to choose you once in a while, like, or all the time, like, we, we put so much pressure on ourselves these days to do things and be things and that and that, we don't realize, like, that's not what this life is about, like, it's about doing what you want to do, but what makes you happy, and if people are upset about that, then that's their problem, that's on them, but ultimately, you got to do what you want to do, and be what you want to be, and I feel good, <laughs> so, yeah, like, I just, I, I was talking to someone who also used to compete, and I was kind of like, when did you know that you, like, you just needed a break, and everything she said was, like, just, like, took the words out of my mouth, and I was like, okay, like, this is it. This is the, what I'm feeling, and I can't ignore this anymore. And I'm happy with the decision I made, and that's all that matters. And that's not to say I'll never go back to it. Like, it's like, you don't have to make a decision like that. It's not like, I'm never going to do this again. Like, I just want to focus on different stuff right now. And right now, I just I want to enjoy my workouts. I don't want to feel like I have to do my workouts. I don't want to feel like I need to go in and do this and this and this. I just want to go in and do what I want to do and train what I want to train. If I don't want to train, I don't have to train. If I don't want to do car, I just want to do me and do what I want to do. And, like, this, like, I'm going to do, like, a little summer cut. Like, I don't have any expectations of getting shredded or anything, but just even losing, like, maybe another five pounds just for fun. Like, I want to do it because I want to do it for myself, just because I want to see what I can do with, you know, just guiding myself into something like that and just following, excuse me, a plan for me. And, like, I'm actually so proud of myself because, like, I would have never made this decision for myself before. I would have been like, no, I got to follow through. I made this plan, like, made this plan to do the show. Like, I've got people expecting me to do the show. Like, I've got to do the show. And now I'm just like, I'm happy that I was able to realize that, like, it was causing me stress and it was causing me mental hardship and it was not doing well for me and it wasn't, it wasn't progressing me in the direction I needed to be progressing for my life to be happy. And, like, for me, that's a sign that I've grown as a person and... To me, like, that's so much more rewarding and so much more, like, something to be proud of than getting up on stage and doing a show. And, like, it just, I'm, I'm happy that I was able to see that. And I know I was, like, talking to my sister and I was like, yeah, like, I'm not happy right now. Um, and then I sat down and I thought about it and I was like, why am I not happy right now? And then I realized... I'm not happy right now because I'm forcing myself to do something that I don't want to do. Why? Why am I choosing to do that? Why? I'm not getting like paid to compete. Like that's not what I'm doing. So if I have to